Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Total War Warhammer. It's time to get our Jade Griffin. Um, it's pretty okay. It's gonna make Volkmar a much more terrifying combatant. Although, I rarely actually personally engage in battle with him, so I'm not 100% sure that he isn't already a terrifying combatant. Anyway, let's award some speed to one of our cavalry units to make them even better at all of the things we need them to do. <clears throat> Excuse me, to do. We have four units of Black Knights, some of them particularly powerful. We gotta be careful about these guys. Of course, Cairn Wraiths, Ethereal, so pretty scary. We'll want to try to kill them with magic if we can. We've got some Grave Guard coming. And this should help us uh, move on with another one of our quests, which requires Volkmar to get his uh, special mount, because we're gonna get big battle XP here. And we're going to get 1,500 extra XP on top of it for the quest. So I don't expect this to go super different than the last time we fought Undead. I suppose we do only have one rocket battery this time instead of two rocket batteries and a mortar. So more of them are going to get close to us. The siege tanks, though, or the steam tanks, rather, seem to be quite good at taking down horse units. And we do have, we do have hand gunners. I wish that we had more ranged against this army. Like, some crossbows would probably be okay because there's very poor armor on a lot of these units. Sons of Sigma, to me! Out there in that fen is a heretic holding the Jade Griffin to his chest like the grubby thief he is. To think that the talisman, a symbol of our cult blessed by Magnus himself, is now in the clutches Ooh. of this necromancer and his vampire consorts. No. I say again, no. Hunt down this filth. Purge this place and strike down any who dare to rise again. Why the comet? That is my decree. These modern armies are very shiny. Okay, so uh, we have some swampy water. It's not always a great place to fight, but I think it'll be pretty good for us because we have the range advantage. You move more slowly through the swampy ground. As you can see the cursor. Whenever the cursor has sort of that, yeah, difficult for small units to traverse and fight in. I guess the horses aren't going to have a problem then. All right, our range is insufficient, so let's actually have our siege units all the way up at the front on this one. Don't miss fire. Can you can you yell? Can you just yell? Don't misfire. Is that effective? I wouldn't think it would be. All right. Well, and hopefully we're just waiting for them to come to us. I don't know necessarily that they will. There's certainly no reason that they would have to, but they may. And if they do, I will be pretty happy. Hand gunners. Okay, let's spread our hand gunners out over here. And... I trust the steam tanks. Uh, they seem to be pretty tough. We have... We had a couple of steam tanks getting beaten on for a good long while there. Okay. So they are coming toward us, it looks like. Oh, uh, no, they're in fast movement mode. They're, like, sprinting. But they're not actually going anywhere. Let's just watch them mill around awkwardly for a while. I have no idea what they're doing. And they have a necromancer. Oh no, they have a they have a proper Oh yeah, he's a necromancer. I was gonna say he looked like a vampire. So they have a necromancer, so they're gonna be trying to get in range to cast spells. There's really no reason they have to come forward, but I really appreciate that that's exactly what they're going to do. And then they're going to walk slowly at us while we hurl all kinds of rockets and stuff at them. 
So what do you have damage-wise? You have Wind Blast, Curse of the Midnight Wind, Uranon's Thunderbolt. Good against artillery pieces, small strike area. Tear-shaped, expanding, magical damage. Okay. Alright, well. Here come the rockets, I would imagine. Yep. There they are. Well, we killed a very small number of goblins, or uh, zombies with that push. I'm actually going to group up the steam tanks. Steam tanks don't have quite the setup time that a lot of artillery pieces do. So it's a lot easier to dynamically change their target, it feels like. Yeah, I don't know if I'm ever going to get tired of that. Okay, this thing has a much shorter range, but I expect it will do a lot of damage once they get close. Oh, interesting. Enemy reinforcements coming in from behind us. Dogs and bats. Well, behind us is actually the best place for that. Because we have a bunch of... We have a bunch of dudes back there ready to fight. Alright, get on him. <laughs> the bats got completely obliterated immediately. Okay, they've got more reinforcements coming in from other sides. Alright, we're just about hitting range on the Hellblasters. Ooh, okay. Okay, Siege Tanks. Take it easy. Now, let's see if we can bring down some of these... Some of these Lance Horsemen before we have to deal with them. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty effective. We're also probably in range for spellcasting. So the Thunderbolt has a small strike area. That feels like not the right one. Actually, this is a very short cast range. Overcasting it will make the... will increase the amount of damage it does. What about the Thunderbolt? How, what's the, okay, the cast range on the Thunderbolt is considerably better. But I'm going to wait until the actually dangerous enemies get close. The ones that we have to kill with magic. Alright, we have enough forces over here that we should be able to deal with... Okay, Crypt Ghouls are real enemies. And Dire Wolves. Dire Wolves are a little bit better than the normal Warhounds. Not a huge amount. But I think our, uh, I think our Siege Weaponry is really getting the job done. Or our artillery, rather. I should say, instead of siege weaponry. Target, we just kind of shoot into the middle of them, please. Huh. They should not be standing still. Decent charge. Let's see if we can get the flagellants out here to hit them in the back. Huh, our flagellant units are very divided. Because these guys are actually almost dead. Okay, here we go, here we go. This is what I wanted. Let's get that tear shaped attack. Try to catch as many of these crypt dudes with it as we can. Hmm. Oh, oops. We'll have our have our handgunners focus in on the grave guard. They're armored. They'll be tough to beat with a lot of our units, but 
handgunner should be perfect. I'm going to have one of the steam tanks start moving. Actually, let's do this in a more sensible way. Let's have it be the one that's already closer to that. And then when we clean up this guy... I can't imagine horses can just beat a steam tank in, in straight combat. Right? That can't be the way that works. Oh, we also get to shoot fire. Cool. Um... Except we don't. This is this thing is very cantankerous. It just does not want to uh, does not want to work sometimes. And unfortunately, it's not giving me any. I wish it was giving me an indication of why that's not working. Okay. Well, I guess we can't do that. We're getting pretty close to the part where we have to move soldiers up through the uh, through the ranged. Okay, that was decent damage. Oh, it did it did fire. It just didn't give me any indication that it had accepted the command. So these guys are falling apart. They're making a last desperate attack. Uh, I'm assuming. The spears being anti-large will mean that they are better against us, against the steam tanks. I don't want the steam tank to kill these guys. And it's time to use the other damage spell. Let's try to catch these Cairn Wraiths before they get into melee. Oh, they stopped running forward. Oh, no. All right. Uh, I probably waited a little bit too long on this. So those Graveguard are suffering. The Cairn Wraiths are going to keep pushing for the moment. Where'd that other unit of horses go? They seem to be fleeing. And this is my, my next concern. Let's keep moving you up. Run! Okay, yeah, so the steam tanks are taking a fair amount of damage over here. Alright, hit him in the side. Get him! Alright, I think these guys are going to want to fall back this way. And now the battle is pretty much joined. Let's go and drop some more magic. So, first of all... Who is getting this? Uh, siege tanks seem to be uh, holding out pretty well. They probably don't need it. Oh, these guys. These guys are about to be in a real situation. Yeah, actually, I changed my mind. You need to get over here and support them. Let me see if I can run my handgunners through their line and shoot them in the back. That seems to be a pretty effective strategy. Or at least if it's not effective, I can't tell that it's not effective, which is just as good. All right, damage resistance and plus attack for all my units out here. Well, that... Yeah, see, it, it sounds like it's failing, but he actually does shoot it. You fight there, Lord. We'll just have some dudes fall in from behind to help with that. Let's drop a thunderbolt on him. Get him. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That, Yeah, it has a small strike area, but that's very effective. And look at how well we're doing. Let's do one of these. Look at how well the steam tanks are doing in melee. 
Also, I can't believe the dogs are not attacking the wizards at all. Yeah, the steam tanks are just crushing everything in melee. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Where did my other steam tank go? Oh, he's, yeah, right here. Of course, I was just looking at all three of them. They're, just in, they're in two locations, the three of them, and apparently that's all it takes to confuse me. All right, I guess I'll try to lay down a charge on these guys because they're clearly coming up for mischief. Uh, you should flank around. Let's try to get behind the guys over here. You guys can shoot into their back. All right, their lord's almost dead. Once their lord goes down, it's going to be very difficult for them to keep fighting due to the way undead morale works. That good flank, look at that. Look at their morale fall. Alright, their lord is defeated, which is gonna make it pretty much this is pretty much over then. Yeah, you can see their morale is falling precipitously. And yeah, apparently steam tanks can just stand melee with anything. I mean I guess it's a tank. Makes sense. Alright, what's next? Is there... Is there something next? Okay. The game could decide that you've won a little bit faster, I think. But that's a pretty good legendary earned. Sorry about my extremely creaky chair. Yeah, it's a pretty good legendary earned, and we got to see, I feel like, the capabilities of the steam tanks a little bit better there. It seems like they're very difficult to take down. Alright, yeah, that's very, very good. The instrument of Sigmar's will. And he's getting pretty close. Getting pretty close. So, yeah, level 16 is when we get this. That's a shame. We didn't actually get to take advantage of his bonus to recruitment costs because we recruited the army with somebody else and then passed it off to him. Yes. Right. I command here. And then while they regenerate... We can protect them. So Salzenmund is the capital of this region. I wonder if we could get... And we could probably get him to confederate, but... Are we in a position where our, the other provinces would put up with that? Oh jeez, I didn't even notice I had Kemperbad. Well, there's absolutely no reason to have a gunsmith here. Or a growth building. Let's get rid of those. That's right. Uh, Toddbringer had that. He passed it off to me. So we'll get rid of those. We'll put in some stuff that's a little bit more appropriate. The anvil might end up staying. That might be worth the slot. Alright. Marienburg is coming along. Yeah, I think we're, I think we're in a position where we're mostly just upgrading income buildings. We don't have any particularly pressing matters. All right, who else needed to do stuff this turn? Yes. Is that where heretics are out the rat? Tell me the accused. Oh yeah, you are heading north. Step to it. So we'll sweep him around and we'll use him to scout the position of the Norskin armies and stuff. Scout and harass. That's why it's important to have a couple of good, uh, a couple of good agents, particularly people who have block army and or assassinate. I think. Hmm. Oakenhammer's been a ruin for a long time. I wonder why the dwarves aren't filling it in. Yes. Absolutely. Trade's good for everybody. So remember, we don't have to actually own all of the land around here ourselves. Uh, it totally works if it's held by our allies. 
Alright, the witch hunter reports that a mysterious woman was seen fleeing through a small hamlet to the east of Alt Altdorf. Though the informant only caught a glimpse of her retreating back in the faint moonlight. A glimpse of her retreating back in the faint moonlight. He swears that her steed was a thing of bone with a fell green glow about it. The witch hunter suspects her to be an agent of the undead. Sterland lies to the east of Reichland, and beyond it lies Sylvania, historically the center of undead activity in the area. So the hunt should be directed there. Yeah, okay. Let's pursue her. Oh wow, okay, that was a short quest line. The vampiress, for such she seems to be, has chosen to fight near a shrine of ill omen. She has raised an army of corpses with which to defend herself. Reinforcements expected, of course. This is a much smaller but much better army, including a couple of um, supplemental vampires. We might want to fix up Carl Franz's forces a little bit before doing that. Well, he does have... He does have enough siege weapons. He's got the uh, demigriffs and stuff. You know what? He's probably fine to just fight. The only thing that would be a real problem is if we, obviously, um... If we got really torn up and then it turned out the Norse were nearby. They will be judged. Onwards. Right, let's see how things look up here. Well, it looks like Ostermark's doing all right. They don't care for us. We did a lot of uh, trespassing and stuff. Yeah, 33. Wow, minus 33 points from trespassing. But we're fighting for the same cause and fighting the same enemies. I'm sure that'll overwhelm their uh, their distaste fairly quickly. All right, Dirk definitely doesn't need to be down here anymore. March on the witches. Yes, son of Sigma. Yeah, Volgar, just stay right where you are. You're doing fine. Summon the Elector Counts. Yeah, you know what? Let's let's do the, let's do a quest battle. I think we should be able to do this. I'm going to quick save first. Maybe that's a little cowardly, but this is one of those situations where it could be really bad <laughs> if we screwed up. Because losing this battle in an embarrassing way could cost us both of these armies if there are Norskin armies close to us. And we don't know that that's not the case. I think we're going to win. I'm pretty sure we're going to win. Uh, but I'm nervous, basically. Okay, so we have a good spellcaster here. We have some pretty good units. Crossbows are not going to be totally ideal in this position. But we have a lot of powerful artillery and two different nets of admin talk. One of them, one of which is not, I believe, uh, going to cost us any wins of magic. So we hunt this day, yet our quarry is neither boar nor deer. No, we pursue the undead. The witch hunters bring word that a vampire crone makes haste for Stirland with the silver seal in her clutches. I charge you, brave men, with not letting that vampiress. Get to Sylvania, for we know she is a puppet. Her strings are pulled by that cursed wretch, von Karstein. Now, men, chase her down. Return to me what is mine, and send these von Karstein beasts a message. By taking her head, we have brought her to bay at the center of a forsaken temple, siphoning off ill magics to power her dread spells. Have no doubt. Surround the crone. Slay the creature before she can summon her minions. By order of the Grand Theodonist, show no mercy. Wait, why does he have to say by order of the Grand Theodonist? Is, is by order of the Emperor not good enough? Okay, so they're up there, huh? That's a little inconvenient. Well... Let's grab all of the artillery stuff, pull it right up front. Finish 
if they're going to come down on us, so they could run around this side, or they could run around this way. Hmm. I'm not sure what to expect, honestly. Let's have the volley gun over here. Should be able to get a shot no matter what. The trees are in the way a little bit, but we'll figure it out. Let's put our siege ta our siege tanks over here. Rocket batteries over here. Um, take advantage of their long range. This gives them a fairly long open sight line to both places. Set this a little bit to the side and let the great cannons go right here. Okay. And then I don't even know really what to do. So much of this battle is going to depend on how they decide to approach us or not approach us. Technically, we're the ones who have to approach them, but that hasn't seemed to matter very much in the last couple. The AI doesn't seem to know that it can just wait you out. We'll have our netcaster hang out by the artillery. Okay. She thinks herself safe on that rock. Show her how wrong she is. Oh, we're getting... Alright. That's fine. We'll go get her. Do we know... No, we do not yet know what we're actually going to face. But if they're just going to run in on us, like I believe they will, since that's what they've been doing, we can probably just wait. Oh, here we go. Here's some here's some vision. What is that? Oh, that's the symbol for a banshee. I don't know that I've ever actually seen a banshee in combat before. Okay, well, there's quite a lot of enemies. Including hex wraiths. Ethereal cavalry troops. All right, well, they're doing a good job of moving up into our uh, firing range. Oh, Crypt Horrors. Okay, these are like these are like the real undead units, the scary ones. The ones that I think we were able to kill Von Karstein before he was able to generate. Okay. So where's my Luminarch? I think we want to have the Luminarch shooting this way. And I think it's time to maybe drop a net. I'm going to refocus the rocket battery over here. Yeah, there's like graveguard and stuff. Let's worry about the graveguard. Steam tanks are doing a fine job of just shooting at the cairn rates. Even though they're... Um, even though they're ethereal, they do still take some physical damage. You guys are pretty close. I think we're going to net them just outside of range. Actually, that's a shame. All right, let's have the cannons shoot at those guys. All right. It's a good net. Oh, wow. That is a heck of a laser. There we go. These guys are fast and they are dangerous, but I'm not really that worried about them uh, because we can at least kill them with melee, you know? I'm far more concerned about the ethereal troops, making sure they suffer the maximum possible amount before they get to us. So the Luminarch could now cast its own net. We'll cast it at the edge of the range. It looks like it's not nearly as long ranged. And may as well drop another spell or two. Strongest versus a single combatant. Good against large combatants. Well let's let's shoot it out this way. Oh, 
Wow, it didn't even didn't even topple a single one of them. Okay, I think it's time. The demigriffs are going to... I mean, a lot of the powerful units seem to just kind of be hanging back. I'm not sure what they're... what they're planning. This is all Graveguard. These are actually dangerous. Like... I have not been giving them a lot of respect. But they could hurt us. So we'll use the Demigriff Knights to fall in on the back of uh, the back side of these guys. We'll run through here. We'll have to re reposition our range units for them to continue to be useful, but that's fine. And let's actually I'm gonna net these dudes. And we will kill them, but let's 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 give the net time to do its thing. All right. See, this is roughly how I want this to go. We needed to start it a little tiny bit earlier. Buffs for everybody. Oh wow, we are obliterating their. Uh, their morale. That's crazy. It's crazy how much damage that did to them. Alright, these guys are in a lot of trouble. Wizard, keep casting. Fun's not over yet. What's the cooldown on the Luminarch's version of the net? It's right here. Okay, very, very long. <laughs> That's fine. So we probably don't need to buff those guys anymore. It looks like they're extremely winning that battle. Let's go Shen's gaze on this Banshee. It does say that it's most effective against a single target. Yeah, that wasn't bad. Getting a lot of good damage here. All right, time has come. I think I may have been a little bit late on this one. Let's make sure we're running far enough through. Okay, we need to get, um, actually, as much as I love him tearing up these spectral horses and everything. Uh, are they all dead? It looks like we can't engage with them anymore. We need to get Karl Franz over here and have him start fighting vampires. Start picking them off. Alright, you guys need to get on the wraiths. We'll shoot at the Crypt Horrors. Yeah, our, our artillery has probably run out of usefulness. So you guys can get over here and start shooting into the back of the formation. It's pretty good. Where is Zindler? Oh, that's right. I had Zindler on scout duty. And that's why we know that there's a whole lot of crypt horrors, or a whole lot of crypt ghouls coming. Try to disengage the demigriffs as best we can. They have pretty much won their fight. I'm trying to I'm having a really hard time getting him to Okay. Look at this. None of this. There we go. To be in a very specific spot on the unit flag for it to actually target the unit. It seems very silly to me. 
All right, let's just regain you some of your vigor before you charge in here. Where do I want these guys to hit? Do I want these guys to hit the lords in the back? No, let's try to let's try to hit the wizard. Carl Franz needs to disengage and go after the banshee. Let's see if we can get any... I, I doubt we'll be able to get any fire, really, onto these guys. Wait, where are we? Could you guys maybe reclaim your guns? It's important. Alright, uh, we'll send our swordsman over to here. We might be able to get the Luminarch... Huh, is the Luminarch... Is Luminarch's net the same size as the other guys? Because it kind of seems like it's not. It seems very, very large. Come on, cast, cast, cast. Catch him. Yes! They're doing good work. The siege tanks are actually really powerful. Not bad at melee, honestly. Alright, hit these guys in the back as best you can. Go drop an emperor on those guys. And their lord just fell, which is probably the end of them. Oh yeah, look at that. He's picking guys up and just hurling them around again. Uh, actually, maybe that's a bad idea. We have we have units over there. Maybe maybe don't do that. Get these guys. Look at them go. This is venting steam. So it looks like the turret on the top just sprays steam at people. And then it has the little gun coming out the front that does the actual shooting. So it's able to spray steam at enemies, like we saw a dude there, uh, while it's just sort of running past them to get to places, which is pretty cool. Alright, we lost more than I would like, but honestly, pretty clean. Clean enough that I think if we got attacked by a stack of Norskins, we would be fine, probably. And of course, we're making a, quite a lot of money at this point in the game off of just doing quest battles. Because the battles themselves are worth cash, and then the quest steps are worth cash. And we've got our silver seal. All right. Summon the Elector Counts. All right, it's important that our, uh, our lords be powerful. So he doesn't have a lot of Reichsguard. Great swords, I mean, we're... We're using greatswords a lot, pretty much everywhere, so let's take a bonus for those guys. Yep, and you just sit here. Blessings of Sigmar upon you. So Alright, what do we do with Gelt? I suppose we just have Gelt push up to the northeast. Essen um uh Ostermark rather. Basically can join us or die. Because we really need to get this area under control. We probably don't have to be taxing this province. And let's build a tap room. And also some money. Alright, Marienburg is coming along. Where else do we have important things we could be building? Carolburg. 
Kerberg probably doesn't need walls positioned as it is in the middle of everything. So what does it need? Honestly, kind of nothing. I guess I'll put in a tap room. We probably won't need it, but just in case. And it'll help to counter uh, if we do confederate. It'll help to counter somebody, some of the penalty from confederation. There is power within prayer. Okay, you're doing the thing you need to be doing. We just have a lot of extra money. Probably this means we should be running another stack on top of the three that we have. It might be time for Todd Burger to get out there and lead some men. Probably I recruit in the capital. Friends of the Empire. I want them over here in the east, probably, but we'll recruit in the capital, because that's where all the good recruiting is. Alright, I hate to do this in a capital. But, I mean, we can make it more effective in the capital than we could in a normal, uh, a normal settlement. Alright, we'll super reinforce the walls, because I do not want to have to babysit Marienburg. But it is absolutely for sure going to get attacked again. There's no doubt about that. So I think I'll run Gelt East, actually. Moving off. Show me the accused. Onwards. Let's figure out what the situation is up north here. I think what's going to happen is we're going to take Ostermark by force. I think that's our best play. Because it's real, it's gonna be a real pain to convince them to come along. Kislev is special, right? Yeah. Okay. We'll have to be our own bulwark against the North. Oh, yeah, Volkmar's leveling up. All right, one more level, and he gets his cool mount. Do not waste my potential. Yeah, I guess we'll just wait right here. Well, I guess there's no reason not to move in. So we'll hit this. What does he have as far as defenses? A full stack, but a full stack of weak troops. And then a very small secondary? Yeah, I'm not... I'm not concerned. We'll win this war. Show me the accused. Step to it! Alright, we'll collapse the witch hunters on them, harass them a little bit, and then move east as soon as our armies are ready. Uh, why don't we... Why don't we build the growth building? We'll just push growth along here. I will delete it in a little while and replace it with something a little bit more impressive. A little bit more flashy. Okay. So these two are chilling out, replenishing. Gelt is doing what he does. Which is to say, threatening our neighbors and then obliterating them. It looks like we might be able to get Hawkland to confederate, perhaps. They do seem to like us now. I am called Fran. We turned that whole thing around. We can probably get Nordland. Actually, we don't need to do anything to Nordland. Them being allied is good enough for our victory condition, I believe. The lands they hold count as ours. Yep, the Doomtide is clearly broken. I have no yeah, idea why it keeps sending us the same message over and over again. Where is Dirk? Forward. Dirk the Mighty over Onwards. here. Okay, level 15 Throg with his fancy Wintertooth crown. A lot of Marauder Champions, which are armored and shielded and generally seem very good. But, not a full stack. Tools of Judgment ready. Pick up the pace. All right, we'll let these two have it in a second here, Volkmar next turn. Volkmar will be, a, will be ready enough to follow Karl Franz into combat. Okay, so next turn it gets real up north. This turn, down here. Indeed. I shall be victorious. Pretty easily, in fact. 
Three men lost. By the comet. Okay, I don't know how taking Essen made him a monster hunter. All right, well, that'll have to do. Yeah, so we'll just take over Kislev and we'll hold the north ourselves. Hey, tell them. Come then. Only Sigma's god, Ulrich, can judge it worthy or no. You know what? I'm going to take him. All right, we're doing very, very well. So let's see how public order stands now. I guess we should also level dudes up. Let's do that. Wait, 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 wait. What is Shield of Faith? Oh, Shield of Faith is that prayer. Right. Um, yeah. Yeah, let's take that. The battle prayers actually do seem to be very good. I am Prince okay. and Emperor. Yeah, nobody else is leveling up. Good. All right, so let's check out how bad things are in various places. Here they are pretty bad. We will untax the province. It's eight turns? No, it's five turns. Okay, yes, yeah, so they're not they're not gonna break up over it or anything. Let's start building that stuff. Uh, in Western Sylvania. Okay, in Western Sylvania, it's so bad that we're not even gonna be able to fix it with a taxation or anything. So we will have uh, we'll have Gelt come down and solve it. And I assume Eastern Sylvania is going to be similar. Yeah, Eastern Sylvania actually... Five turns of this? We could stop taxing for a little while. It's harsh. That's a lot of income. Stop taxing for a little while and host a Festag, and that might take care of it right there. I'm going to upgrade our temple as well. That'll help as we nudge uh, nudge the corruption levels even further southward. What? Okay, is there anywhere else where it's going to be a big problem? In the wasteland? No, it's not. It's it's a lot of uh, a lot of minus approval, but it won't won't be a problem. We have enough of a cushion. In Talibheim, it is going to be an issue, but. We have Elderbrand Ludenhoff to deal with that. In fact, he... Alright, he can take care of it just by sitting there. In Middenland... Nope, not a big deal. Okay, so it, we're pretty steady. In Hawkland... Stop taxing Hawkland and that'll solve that. It would also help if we were occupying Hergig, but one problem at a time. Okay. Seek out the heretics. Is there anything else that we need to do this turn? What do you require? How close are we on Marienburg? We are... Oh no, a lot of turns off. Like, really a lot. Oh, and Talibicland needs a... Yeah, Festog, I suppose. Now that we actually own the whole region. All right, and we're going to hold on to a little bit of a war chest that we can use to, you know, pay for assassinations and stuff. Oh no, we're being raided. I did not see that coming, actually. I forgot that that, like, Empire provinces have weird shapes a lot of the time. Uh, Karen Darkmane has assaulted the garrison in Salzenland. Okay. Also, the Doom Tide, did you know? So that pretty much makes the assault on Norden free, then, right? They will be judged. Let's try to assassinate Throg with the lower level guy first. Okay, great. It's good XP. And now that that army is missing its commander, we'll just sweep over there and put him down. Is it time? I don't think we should need the other army for this. We should have this under control. No peace, just war. 
Okay. So then we can use this army. Well, I guess we don't need to. I was going to say we can use this army to attack these guys, but we first of all can't, and secondly, where exactly are they going to go that they're even going to be a problem? I think we'll just harry them with our heroes. Uh, probably a block. Ah, uh, I don't know where they're trying to go, but I'm not eager for them to get there, obviously. So... And not being at war with the uh, with the Gormadni tribe has actually been really nice. Oh, Erengred is another one of those places that has a super valuable port. So we definitely want to take that over. Let us begin. And once we have... Wind of Shannon, I will. Once we have the Confederation buff lost, and we can get back to normal public order, I think we're going to be able to push north pretty hard. Alright, who else needs orders this turn? What should I do with Volkmar? See, I don't... The, the problem is I don't know what this guy's doing. He certainly can't threaten Middenheim. Yeah, I guess we'll just sit and replenish for another turn and watch that guy. See what his play is. Praise Sigma. Okay, you need to stay right there and keep that under control. Oh, Carl Franz has a skill point. All right. Well, hopefully Nordland can hold that by themselves, and I think we're good. Unfortunately, the Chaos Warriors are going to show up again, in force, and it won't be too much longer. They want to pay for peace. Do I want to do that right now? They're an extra distraction I don't need, but also, if I offer them peace and then attack them again shortly afterward, it will damage my trustworthiness. I'm going to decline. Let's just take care of this. Let's get this over with. Oh. I totally forgot about <laughs> this stuff. Also, the Doom Tide, did you know? Show me the accused. Right, go tell me what is up over here. For Sigma. So it looks to me like Wolfric's faction is winning up here in Norska. They're the ones I'm really worried about, but we aren't seeing a lot of their troops. Wonder why. I trust no man. Okay, well, they're on guard. The you screwed up, and I don't know what to do with you. Oh wow, just our presence in the in the region, not even pick up the pace. Not even in the city, but just our presence in the region was enough to turn it around. Well, that's cool. Alright, I think we're going to have a couple of pretty fast, pretty uninvolved turns here. Chain Lightning and Comet of Cassandora both seem very good. Let's try Comet. I'm pretty sure that I know, pretty sure I have heard people say that that spell is really crazy in tabletop. Let's cap Castle Temple off here. I don't even know what to do with Dirk. Aldenbrand is exactly where he needs to be. And let's pop over here. What's up in Marienburg? I guess we're taking minus eight public order, so when this wears off, Marienburg will actually be reliably positive with the tap room in the state it's in right now. So I'm not going to bother advancing it. One of these days we're going to get Marienburg up to level 5 and get that fully developed dock. It's just going to be a while. Okay, what's the story with our corruption? We're trending toward a pretty low number. Okay. 
Well, I guess with these armies both being healthy, I suppose the thing to do is to sandwich this guy from both sides. Who calls? We'll just like go into ambush mode. And then we'll push in on him from here. See if I can convince him to flee. Because I don't really want him chilling out in the middle of my territory. Seems to me nothing good can come of this. Alright, so once we've ridden out the Confederation penalty here, we'll uh, head back north, we'll obliterate whoever it is that we're fighting. I keep forgetting their name. We'll take all those lands, we'll take Kislev, and then I think we're, uh... Oh no, our ambush was foiled, and also the Doom Tide. Well, you retreated right into Karl Franz. Don't you feel like an idiot? Bring me to my men. Okay. My knowledge is yours. Hunting the wicked. Well, it's too much chaos out here. We could try to go to Erengrad. If we end up at war with Goromadni, though, isn't this them over here? No, these are the Vanaheimlings. Oh, I don't care about Goromadni. Yeah, we'll just ride on them, I guess. All right, we really do want to get Arcane Conduit up. It would be nice if every one of our armies had at least one. Summon the electric Although I suppose we do need somebody to deal with Hergig. Yeah, maybe starting war with a new, uh, new Norskin tribe is... Not something that should be my primary concern. Well, it looks like I've made my decision. We're actually very injured. And that's a full stack, what? plus guys from the garrison. Ooh, including a Norskin giant. Yeah, we can do it. We'll just need Volkmar to lead the way. Okay, so can I leave yet? What? How many turns? Two turns left? All right, we'll be able to leave next turn. It won't be an issue. Who calls? So Ludwig, you should attack them or something. Try to assassinate their extremely high-level chief. Okay, cool. Erengrad doesn't have any walls, but if it did, he would be totally ready to destroy them. And Dirk, I don't, man, I don't even know what to do with you. Maybe he should go up into the north? I guess he can maybe help me with this war right here. Ready. Alright, yeah, so Gelt's gonna sit one more turn. And then it should be safe to head back to Essen. Oh, and here come the Agents of Chaos again. Hmm, the Gormandy tribe army seem to have just fled. Yeah, sure, I'll pay, I'll pay for a big leadership boost. That seems okay to me. I am the Supreme Patriarch. Okay, yeah. Next turn, we'll have four more public order, or eight more public order, and then the turn after that, we'll have. Uh, we'll start building a. What do you call it? A public order building here. So we can actually turn taxation back on in this region, and it'll level off. Yeah, okay. We're gonna be fine. Everything's fine. I command here. Well, now that they fled. The Men, we must attack. All right, let's take over Erengrad. As is my right by Sigmar's crown. Because, like I said, it has a very good port. So, 500, 1,000, 2,000, just like the port at Marienburg. Unfortunately, it's really underdeveloped. All right, let's put up some basic walls. Uh, 
unbreakable and bonus weapon strength. The nation calls. And his army is strong enough that I think it should be able to stand against Lamont Gunnarsson by itself. So what do we really need Volkmar to do? I guess Volkmar can just push up along with him. Doesn't seem to be a particular reason not to. Yep, here we go. Here's some more chaos, dudes. Well, we knew it was only a matter of time. Alright, let's do one more turn here. So that I can uh, set everything up correctly for not suffering through the Confederation penalty anymore. Because if I don't do it now, I'm sure I will forget to do it at the beginning of the next episode. Okay, we're going to start seeing Wolfric soon, I think. We have to. Oh, and here's the Warherd of Chaos fighting Norskins for us. That's nice of them. Astalia has been obliterated. That's probably Bretonia's doing. Also, the Doom Tide. Yes. Yes, that will do. Follow Let's switch me. back to normal movement here. Huh. He needs to have 25% of normal movement to assume this range. This is 23? Man, it's hard to tell. I wish that the bar wasn't yellow, and then the things separating the bar uh, gold. It's kind of an awkward decision. Alright, well obviously we will trivially crush these guys. I will cast out all evil. I'm pretty surprised that the Warherd of Chaos attacked them, but I guess that's why they're called Chaos, right? Okay, this guy's level 10. Let's see if we can uh, see if we can soften this army up a little bit. Alright, we removed their level 10 Lord. Got our sweet War Altar. Uh, and then we need desperately to... Yeah, encamp. Actually, Desperate is overselling it. He's he's in pretty good shape now. So we could go and settle Zoyshank. Not sure what to do here. I don't want to weaken our armies, but pushing up together through this much corruption is tough. Hmm. Ready. There's not a lot of reason for us to sit anymore, though. I guess let's get moving. It'd be cool if we didn't lose Arangrad, but... <clears throat> oh, Arangrad's a faction capital. It normally has walls. It's just that Norskin cities never, ever have walls, no matter what city they are. Alright, hold on. Do not take me for a fool. How much movement do we need to... We need 50% to encamp. So we'll just slowly do this, this little encampment crawl thing. Yeah, we just gotta get the corruption down. We'll be building a Shrine of Sigmar before too much longer over here. Tools of judgment ready. Alright, well... Oh, the Warherd of Chaos is actually very big. I was going to go after these guys, but now I'm wondering if maybe this is not the best use of my time. What? Eh, still. Disagree with that. <laughs> I failed. What do you mean? I don't agree. Alright, well, I suppose we can start picking up combat stuff, because he has all of the other stuff that I think is useful. Let's pick him up some ward save, just in case he has to get engaged in an actual fight. Alright, Aldebrand Ludenhoff. It is probably no longer necessary for him to stay here. Yeah, I think we can we can leave. We might even be able to 
Uh, we might even be able to tax that province. Okay, we'll have him resettle her kick. The Ulrican's main force has moved away from Altdorf's walls due to the brilliant statesmanship of the Emperor. Volkmar, however, is in a rage. The slurs of Ulrich's supporters and their army's trespass must be answered. <clears throat> the Grand Theogenist deploys a warrior priest to seek them out. So deploy a warrior priest in Reichland. Well, that is easily done. Yes, son of Sigma. Oh, it's just anywhere in Reichland, though. It's not Reichland is not also a province. Or uh, not also a region. So we'll just do that next turn. The Empire. Okay, rebuild this. The Brass Keep probably does not need one of these. So we'll just have Ludenhoff uh, run through here and be the guy who resettles everything. Alright, let's check out our provinces, make sure everything is sensible, and then we will move on. So we're still losing two public order per turn due to uh, corruption, but it looks like the corruption is... Huh. Well, it's trending down, sort of. Alright, well, we get to do that, and we're going to have to build a public order building down here. Grenstadt probably should still have walls. We'll have to find time. And we're not losing public order too quickly, though. Alright, public order is good here. We can re-enable taxation. Here in Schwarzhafen, I'm going to build a tap room. And we are out of money. Alright, we don't want to re-enable taxes here yet. Oh, we actually, uh... We can do that. Yeah, we can re-enable taxes here. It'll be fine. We've got it under control. Western Sylvania is losing. But in two turns it'll be corrected. Ostland is feeling pretty miserable. Yeah, Wolfenberg and Castle von Rocken are the other. That's a tough one. We'll stop the taxing. That'll buy us a turn, I think. But that one's just going to freak out. Okay, and we'll be able to get this under control. Nordland is pretty powerfully negative, actually. Wow, really negative. Well, there's no reason for us to be taxing a place that only gives 42 money per turn. Okay, I think we're settled. Pretty settled, anyway. So that is going to be it for us for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Come back next time. It looks like uh, we're going to have to build our own defenses. So we're taking Kislev. And we'll see you then.